Do you trust Paul? I trust Paul, but I trust more what Christ. I trust Christ more than Paul. If he wasn't a Pharisee, right. then he lied. Yes. Well, I don't know. Right? Okay. If, the if. word is in the word if. And he claims he was Pharisee. Right, so what's, agree? what's the big deal? Bro? That he said that in Acts. What's the claim? Well, he said it. Why is that true? Any Christians want to answer the question? Excuse me. Um, Your question? Yeah, Christian. Yeah, Good man. Want to answer the question? I want to discuss, not a debate. Do you want to go somewhere a bit quiet? Or no, no. I'm here to get this question out. I just want something just productive. Uh, listen, bro. You come with sincerity? Yeah. No problem at all. But you've got to answer this question. But I am going to interrogate your answers. Yeah, that's fine. Right. 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 I'm not going to shout at you or anything like that. Do you trust Paul? I trust Paul, but I trust more what Christ, I trust Christ more than Paul. So basically, what Christ says, I trust what Paul says. Do you trust Paul? Yeah, as long as it lines up with what Christ said, yeah. Because what Christ Do you trust Paul or not? Yeah, if it lines up, yeah. Oh, we have a trust Paul or you don't trust Paul? Yeah, trust you can't say, I trust Paul when he says what I like, and I ignore Paul when he says things that go against my worldview. You have a trust Paul when he says what he says, or you don't. Oh, trust Paul, yeah. You trust Paul, right. Why do you trust Paul? Uh, because he was called by Christ. Uh, Jesus saw him in the road to Damascus. Uh, the light came on him. Um, yeah, he saw Jesus. So basically this, he, so he, he was, um, yeah. I think it's Acts. In the book of Acts, it says he was called. So, so it's a standard response. So basically what you believe as a Christian. Yeah, it was called to bring the light to the That Paul was some kind of zealot persecuting the church Jew. Yeah. And then he yeah, had right. epiphany yeah. on the road to Damascus. And then he became this redeemer of the church, yeah? Exactly yeah. what that's right. Because um, any, um, there's many times where God uses people, uses reprobates, okay. people of sin. Why, why do you believe he was persecuting the church? Why do you believe why? he was a zealous Jew? Why do you believe he was a Pharisee? Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh, do you believe he was a Pharisee? Yeah. Because he claims to be a Pharisee. Yeah. All right, why do you believe that's true? But well, whether he was a Pharisee, I mean, what, what, what are you getting at? Oh, because okay. I'll, I'll, I'll explain, I'll explain. Right. If he wasn't a Pharisee, he lied. Then he's not trustworthy. So he, he has to be a Pharisee. Part of the Romans. I mean, I don't know exactly what to, to the degree, but I know he was persecuting the Christians. No. He was, a, was he a Pharisee? What, what, what point does it matter? He sinned, though. He I'll, 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 I'll explain, I'll explain. In the in your Bible, in your Bible, in your Bible, exactly. In your Bible, in the Book of Acts, Paul says he's a Pharisee. Okay, you you believe him when he's someone can come away from being a Pharisee. No, no, I I get that. But when he says I am a Pharisee, yeah, I was trained in the law under Galamiel. Okay, why do you believe that's true? Again, I don't know. I don't actually know exactly the ins and outs. I don't know every nook and cranny about being a Pharisee. No, no, I'm not, I'm not asking that. Right. Why do you believe when Paul says something that thing is true? Because that's the question. Well, right, okay. Because, like I said, it was called by God to, to bring light. No, to because it. he said that. Right. You can't bring the guy and call what he says money, yeah. to demonstrate he's trustworthy. First thing is. Well, he wrote most of the New Testament. Okay. And, um, if he's not trustworthy, if he's written most of the New Testament, it's not reliable, if he's not trustworthy. So the question is this, you believe the story that he was a Pharisee persecuting the church. I want to understand, I, he was I know you believe it. Sure I'm, well, he said he was a Pharisee. But it's not over here or there. Well, it's, it, is, it, is, it is here it's or there. It's important that God forgave him. It is here or there. Because if he was never a Pharisee, it means he lied. I don't know. All right, but you believe he was. So I'm trying to answer the question, why do you trust when Paul said he was a Pharisee, he was a Pharisee? Why? I think this is a red herring because it's, it, it, it doesn't matter to me. It's why not, is it a red herring? Because it's not significant enough for me to, whether he was a Pharisee or not, he killed Christians oh, oh, okay. and God forgave him. So I don't know, what, what point are you trying oh, to I'll explain. If he wasn't a Pharisee, right. then he lied, yes? Well, I don't know. Right? Okay, well, if, the if, word is in the word if. if. If he wasn't a Pharisee, then he lied. Uh, yes. He said he said he was a Pharisee. Right? Yes. You, you, you said you told me. Book of Benjamin uh, from the tribe of no, Benjamin. I said he was from the tribe of Benjamin. I didn't say he said he was a Pharisee. He said he was a Pharisee. Do you know where in the Bible? Book of Acts. Okay. He said he was a Pharisee. Right. Why do you believe him when he said he was a Pharisee? 
So again, you keep going back to his Pharisee. I have to. Because that's the claim. Because if he's not a Pharisee, that means he wasn't a persecutor in the church, which means he had no conversion, which means he lied, which means... Oh, that's a drug. Oh, oh, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Oh, let, let's break it down. Let's, let's just say he said he lied about saying he was a Pharisee. Let's, say he lied, let's just say he lied about being a Pharisee. Do you know about this? About him saying he was a Pharisee and all lying? Acts 23, 6. I don't know. Who. Read it. But when, when Paul perceived that one part was Sadducees, and Sadducees, the other, Sadducees. Sadducees and the other Pharisees, he cried out in, in the council, men and brethren, I am a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee, concerning the hope and resurrection of the dead, I am being judged. So he claims he was Pharisee. Right, Do you so what's, agree? What's the big deal? That he said that in Acts. What's the claim? Well, he said it. Why is that true? Because the early church fathers, the apostles, who were eyewitnesses, he was eyewitness to the eyewitnesses. Here's your problem. Uh, let me finish. Because you go through, uh, uh, you cut someone Would off. you like to escape the conversation and I'll deal with him? Or you want me to... Because oh, I'll still... No, you're out of your depth. Sorry? You're out of your depth already. How do you know? Because you can't understand the ramifications of what you're saying. Why? You're saying things. So what if he's not a Pharisee? Ten, so what if he lied? That tells me you don't understand the ramifications of it. Right. By a ten-minute conversation, yeah. you can tell. Same one way. minute, I guess. Yeah, one, have, one minute, I can you tell. You have the best discernment I've ever seen. I am awesome. <laughs> Check out my channel, man. I'm awesome. Yeah, I've yeah, I've seen, smell I've it, man. Seriously, bro. Right. I can, I can, I, I, and don't get me wrong. I believe you're sincere. I think you're sincerely wrong. Yeah, but you're not in a position to have this conversation. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. No one is. No one is. He's going to get battered. So, oh, I, I promise you, know, you. Do you know my take on Christianity? It doesn't matter. Right. I'll explain you something. Know. If Paul's a liar. Everything's gone. But where does it say that he lied? Though? Well, if he's not a Pharisee, then he lied, isn't it? Right, but what, what, I still don't understand what you're getting at. Oh, he, that's it, the problem. He's a Pharisee in there. Yeah, he says he's and a you're Pharisee. Saying that he's, he's lied about being a Pharisee. Yes. Or, or Luke lied about him being saying he was a Pharisee. Is it, are you sure it's not something that you're adding? You want to clutch at straws? Because I know Muslims are against Paul. But. I'm it against no the whole bearing, thing, it has mate. No bearing on my salvation. I trust in Jesus it, it, it has massive, it. it has massive bearing on your salvation. Because the one who said told you Jesus died for you was Paul. Yeah, but you haven't told me that he lied though. You haven't shown me where he said where he lied about being a Pharisee. What Pharisee? All right. So this is the point. So I'm asking you the question. If he lied about being a Pharisee, do you accept? Right, and let's just say he lied. Right. No, but then you can't. So, yeah, all right, all right. Let's say he lied. Let's say he lied. Let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. Someone can repent. Uh, uh, all right. So, let's say he lied. Many people tell lies. Yeah, he lied. Right. So let's after say he repented, so, God forgave. So, right, 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 right. So according to you now, Paul. Hypothetical. You're saying it. I don't. Well, know. he said, let's see. Let, let's go roll with that. Okay. So according to you, Paul, after persecuting the church, on the road to Damascus, had a vision, and had a transformation. And then he went to Jerusalem yeah, well, says, yeah. and told the people, so he, this is after so everything. This is after everything. No, no, no. This is after everything. And then he's telling the people I'm a Pharisee. So he's lying. So anything, this is not talking about he lied in his past. We're talking about after the road to Damascus and all that, Paul's making the claim he's a Pharisee. And I'm saying to you, if he lied about being a Pharisee, that makes him a liar, yes? Oh, so you're saying if that, if he lied. Well, I've used the word if about 20 times, mate. Yeah. So you're not saying he did like So my that. question to you is why do you trust Paul when he says he was a Pharisee? Again, you keep going back to his him saying Pharisee. I, like I said, what's, what's your name, my man? Samuel. Samuel. You're not ready for this conversation. I promise you. But go and research it and maybe another time. But you're not ready for this. What bearing is it has though? What, you're not ready for it. What's yeah, 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 that's the point. I think you're clutching at straws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Can I ask you a question? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to tell you what it does. Because you asked me a question. Shall I tell you what it does? But well, don't interrupt me. All right, that's fine. All right. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Okay. If Paul wasn't a Pharisee, it means he lied. And if he lied, it means he's not trustworthy. And if he's not trustworthy, the Holy Spirit is not doing anything about it. Okay? Also, the church fathers all rely on Paul's writings. Everything's based upon Paul. Everything. Without Paul, because if the church fathers are relying on somebody who's untrustworthy, then that would mean their judgment is in doubt now. Because they can't even, they don't even realize they're following someone who's untrustworthy. And at the same time, where's this divine inspiration gone that's supposed to be protecting and guiding the church? It's all relying on a false person. If, yeah, and if this is in case, this brings the whole question of the Holy Spirit into question now. 
The Holy Spirit's doing nothing. It's not correcting anybody. It's not guiding anybody. Does it really truly exist? And if the Holy Spirit really truly doesn't exist, that means the Trinity is gone now. And if the Trinity is gone now, that means now that Jesus no longer needs to be divine. Why? Because you don't need to try to squeeze him into a Trinity. Yeah? Well, so how do that? I think what you're doing is a jump. There's a, tell me the jump. Tell me one thing. One second, one, one, second, second, one, second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Listen, listen. You, listen to me, listen to me. You're not allowing me to uh, All right, all right. I'm telling you what to respond to. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm counter, okay. So we started off. We, you're going you're to counter, don't worry. So from the point of Paul being a liar, yeah, that we conceded, yeah, tell me which part of what I said isn't true. After I respond to what you said about... Uh, it's the same thing. No, it's the same thing. Saying, so basically you're saying he's not trustworthy. Let me respond to what you just said before. Right. Do you... Is Abraham trustworthy? Samuel, it's been a pleasure. So you want to answer my question? After... I, can, I said I'll answer that. After okay, I'll okay. Answer. You're not responding to what I say. And then you're asking me a question completely off the topic of that. Do you understand the point? Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel. Let go, let go, mate. Let go. Right, nice, nice you're a nice guy. Me. Go research the question and come back. I know it already, but you're not, you're, you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, catching. Yeah. You're delusional, mate. <sighs> this is it. Christians, why trust Paul? Actually, I should be asking, do you trust Paul? 